Yes, um, Mr. Pin uh, fully endorsed me. Um, this would have been communicated to the to the party, um, and I would have been nominated and ratified yesterday. I enjoy his full endorsement. Um, he promised that he would he would canvas with me, he would work with me, he would work for me, he would do all that he can to ensure that I regain this seat for St. Andrew, for the BLP. Well, I, I think my chances are, are pretty are pretty good. I've been working in the constituency for a number of years now. Um, and based on the, the feedback that I get from, from persons when they when they move around the constituency, I get a sense that persons are comfortable with my representation, persons are comfortable with the efforts that I've, I've made in the past to ensure that their lives are improved. Um, and we would have had an extremely difficult um, past two years, you know, during the early stages of COVID, when most persons were afraid, they did not understand the, the virus, and they were, were very afraid. I, I was there, I was out there, you know, working, ensuring that persons got, you know, the things that they needed. I was on the ground. Um, then we we had the, the the ash. I was also there um, amongst the people um, when we had to do deal, with, especially with the cleanup of the ash. You know, I would have um, provided some communities with, with resources as I go around, what, depending on what people wanted, and in some cases I would have arranged some of the cleanups. So we would have done that as well. Uh, and then we were hit with the freak storm. Um, that mainly impacted the White Hill area. Um, a lot of the damage was concentrated in that a narrow strip of the White Hill area. A lot of down trees, down utility poles, um, persons' roofs were, 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 were blown off. And I was, was also involved in that, in that process. I would have sourced some equipment through an organization that I'm a part of, the St. Andrew CDRT. Uh, which is association, which is associated with the Barbados Red Cross, mm -hmm. and lucky we, we would have gotten some equipment, some chainsaws and some cutlasses and such like, just about two or three months um, before the the free the free event, and we were able to use that um, those chainsaws and everything to to help the residents to to remove the trees and the and the down. Um, well, in some cases, mostly trees. Now, I wouldn't say we move any utility poles, but in some cases, some some utility poles were also were also removed. Uh, and then we were further impacted by the hurricane, by Hurricane Elsa. But the damage this time was concentrated mainly in the in Chalky Mount area. A number of homes were destroyed. Um, it was really bad, and you know that there were persons were without electricity for a long time um, in that in that area. But the, the, the worst part of it was the number of houses that were that were damaged. A number of houses were damaged, um, and many of them are are being um, repaired. Um, persons are now at, at advanced stage of um, getting their lives back together, um, getting the you know the houses repaired. I, I, I when I visited last, um, if I would say it was. 95% of the homes that were damaged. Matter of fact, uh, yeah, about 95% of the homes that were damaged were were being were being repaired, and some were, were some were actually completed. All right, um, and then after that, we had the water outage, and that was especially difficult for for the residents here in St. Andrew, but more so for the farming community in St. Andrew, and I was actively actively involved in that as well. Um, one of the things I discovered when I went around um, was that you know many of many many persons here, many residents here in in, in St Andrew are farmers. There's a large farming community, especially in this this um, Borden's Belpin area, and the animals would have the animals would have. Um, Will have been impacted more by the, the water outages because obviously animals consume a lot more water than 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 than, than you know households. So so those farmers were struggling, and I took it upon myself to to work closely with the Barbados Water Authority to put a system in place that not only supply 
um, farmers specifically with, with, with non-potable water, but also a system where farmers were called you know, throughout the course of the week to ensure, to ask, to find out if they, if they had adequate supplies of water, you know, and if not, then a, a truck would dispatch that particular area to ensure that that farmer had his water. So we, we work very close. I was working closely with, with, um, with this community, you know, from through all the various crises that, that we, we have gone through in St. Andrew. And we face, you know, we face a, a few of the country, you know. But I've been there all along. I would hope that, you know, the people of St. Andrew remember these things, you know, when, when they go to vote because I was with them all along.